And welcome to 4th and Pain, the only pro wrestling show hosted by an NFL player. 2,000 miles to my left, he is Redskins defensive end Adam Carricker. 2,000 miles to his right, I am weight loss champion Chuck Carroll, and this is 4th and Pain. And oh, what a big week it was for the show, Adam. I mean, seriously, did you see all the press we got? Did you see all the press we got this week? Well, you interview the champ, the champ himself, and then he's kind enough to tweet out the show. Yeah, yeah, I think we're finally starting to get a little bit of the recognition. And, uh, you know, hopefully, hopefully some people listen to the show and I hope they like what they heard. Right. Finally starting to get some recognition, my friend. I think we got a little bit more than just a little bit of recognition. You know, your team website, the Washington Redskins official website, put up something about uh, your interaction with Hulk Hogan. And so any time that your team, is willing to to get involved and say, yes, we like this show. We like where Carriker's head is at. We like the fact that he's got a post-football career. Football first, mind you, they did. They did stress that in the article. But the fact that they took the time to put up something uh, about this show, really, thank you very much, Washington Redskins. I don't know whose palms you had to grease to get that done, but also thank you. No, absolutely. Um, that That's very awesome of them. This really is... We talk a lot of wrestling, obviously, but it's, it's a football show as well. It's like 50-50 right down the line. Um, so we do football, we do wrestling, so I appreciate the support, and I appreciate them uh, throwing us that shout-out. Yeah, there's that. And then uh, our interview with uh, Austin Aries got picked up all over the place this week as well. Um, I, USA Today Online had a little something-something on there. Of course, all of the dirt sheets. So, uh, I mean, goodness gracious sakes alive. Fourth and Pain is uh, onward and upward. Not bad, seeing as though that this, believe it or not, is only our 12th broadcast. We started this just a couple of months ago, and, man, look at where we're at now, man. So stick with this. Stick with this. I think it's going somewhere. I think it I, is. I, I completely agree with you, man. I mean, what did we do, the first eight shows in, in my little tiny uh, hotel room I was staying in during the off season, And then <laughs> it was about the third or fourth one on YouTube. So, I mean, we're, 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 we're branching out. We're reaching the masses. You know, I, ho- I hope people like what they hear. We're just having a good time. We just have fun. We have a good time. We talk about two things we love, wrestling and football, football and wrestling, and then we make fun of each other in the process, and it's, it's all in good fun, and we just love doing it. And let's not forget the time that you tried to kill me in your little hotel room with the Supercharged Challenge. Uh, we might which... have to do that again. You know, we've gotten a few more followers since then. <laughs> we might have to do that again. Can you suck it up? And take it for the team twice. I mean, I might have to go into training for the week leading up to it, knowing just how badly my body reacts to this stuff. But you know what? For the sake of the show, and because I'm on a high, because Fourth and Pain is doing big things, absolutely. You know what? I'll say it right now, and I'll regret it later. Absolutely. Uh, I will do it one more time. But let's, uh, let's do what we do best and turn our attention to wrestling here. Aces. Aces and eights. What in the world is going on there in TNA? Who are they, and why have they laid out Hulk Hogan, Kurt Angle, and Austin Aries? What is and going Sting. on there? And Sting was the original one they laid out, right. too. That's right. I forgot about Stinger. I mean, these guys, they won't show who they are. All they do is send mysterious aces and eights cards in the mail and then, you know, lay people out with lead pipes. What it do, character? I actually really like it. Um, it, it, it reminds me of when... They, they, they changed their names, but basically Razor and Mamone and Big Daddy Cool Diesel, Kevin Nash, and Scott Hall came to WCW, and everyone thought they were just invading. You know, So I, I, I'm, I'm thinking maybe this might be people that we know. They just don't want to show their faces, and it's like they're invading TNA, time trying to take over. That, that's kind of my take. What do you, I actually really like it so far. What do you think? That is a very, very plausible scenario that you just laid out there. I like where your head's at. And if you don't make it as a wrestler, you will make it as a booker. Because what you have just proven to me is not only can you pick the matches, not only are you a pro wrestling prognosticator, but you know where a storyline is going well in advance, if indeed that's where it's going. You have a mind for the business. You are going somewhere, my friend. Stick I with appreciate us. that. I appreciate that. Well, uh, you bring up the pick em. We haven't done our LaRonning thing in a while. I mean, we got, we got to pick some matches here. We we got to we got to get you in some some tight 
ridiculously tight pink shirt that you have to cut off with a pair of scissors and, and post it all on Twitter. Hey, man. I might have to explain to the people who are watching just what we've been doing because it's been a while since we've talked about it. Well, before we do that, let me just say that I am trying to delay the inevitable here <laughs> because you are literally wiping the mat with me. And the last thing I want to do is get in a hurry to, you know, post some revealing photo and some, like, super small uh, pink, pink, pink shirt and some embarrassing pose and put that up on Twitter. Uh, that is not kind of where my mind is at right now. So uh, let's just kind of forget all about the LeBroning challenge. No, 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 no. See, see, training camp's coming up for me. I got five weeks <laughs> of my least favorite part of the entire year coming up. And I need something <laughs> to look forward to. You know, we got rookies dancing and singing at night. I need something. I need something that's going to make me laugh during the day, Chucky. We, we have not forgotten about this. I am seven picks away from winning, and I think – I don't even remember what your score is. Aren't you like 17? I forget what it is. I don't know. I, I believe – it's 23 to 13 or something, is it? It's bad. You're, you're just – you're on the cusp of, of clinching it, and I'm I'm not even halfway home. So, yeah, I, I'm in a hard way here. So, uh, yeah, like I said, uh, and and thank you for agreeing that we'll just forget all about it and uh, move I, I on like it never happened. At all. No, not at all. <laughs> uh, well, 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 okay, let's explain we'll, to the fans what we'll we're doing. We'll pick the next uh, paper fans. Fans. Yeah. All right. Explain it. The the running challenge. Where did that whole thing start? So basically, it actually started way back in uh, February, you know, or whatever, whenever that WrestleMania thing happened. And we, we made we made a couple of prediction matches, pr- predictions to matches. And, you know, I ended up getting them right. And we just kept doing it and do it. And finally, we were like, you know, let's just start keeping track. And the first one to get 30 picks right, the loser has to take a running picture, a, t- a picture in an extremely tight shirt, just embarrassing and post it on Twitter. So that, that's kind of what we've been doing. It's been a while. You, you, I see your facial expressions, and I know that's not just a dry spell coming out in you. You know, I know you're excited about this. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm over the moon, man. I'm over the moon. I'm losing sleep because I'm so excited. Good I'm sure, I'm sure you are. Uh, yeah. So uh, the Laronning, uh, the, the whole bit there, uh, if you're unfamiliar, was uh, your former teammate, Laron Landry, uh, was notorious for uh, finishing his lift, he's looking all sorts of swole, and he would take a picture of himself in the mirror posed, trying to look as big as possible in the smallest shirt possible. And so one day you just decide to kind of mock him a little bit, have a little fun with him, and uh, maybe you got your lift on. I don't know, but all I know is uh, you somehow wound up on Twitter wearing one of your wife's tops, <laughs> and, and you know, you just fired it off at him, and the next thing you know, it's all over everywhere. So... Uh, yeah. I guess we it, we're, we're kind of in, in that little battle here, only we're one-upping it and going pink this time. It was basically the, uh, I was tired of seeing this dude post, I mean, I get along <laughs> with the wrong great, well, you know, but I was tired of seeing these pictures. And I'm like, you know what, I, I, I look really jacked to you, you know, and I'm sick of this. Angie, my, my wife, I'm like, give me your tightest shirt. And the first <laughs> shirt she gave me wasn't tight enough. So I'm like, give me your tightest shirt. So she gives it to me and I, I get this thing on. And I was turning purple, so we had to quit taking the picture. She had to cut the thing off me, and I just basically I decided to tweet. I just go, "Hey, look at me! I can put on a tight shirt and look really jacked too." And it really blew up. I had no idea it would do that, but you know, we actually should talk a little bit of wrestling here. We're yeah, we do. Uh, we we got about uh, four or five minutes left in this segment, <laughs> maybe even three. Uh, more on TNA. A couple big announcements, real quick, before we start talking about what happened on Impact this week. Uh, Chavo Guerrero coming over, former uh, longtime uh, wrestler, the nephew of the late great Eddie Guerrero. Uh, TNA announced on Thursday that uh, he had signed a contract and is coming over. And here is where you and I are good luck charms. I think that we should just say this, and maybe Mr. Anderson, who's going to be joining us later in the program, should take heed with this. Many, many, many congratulations to the champion, Austin Aries, for signing a long-term deal with TNA Wrestling just days after his appearance on 4th and Pain. Yeah, we pretty much take all the credit for that. I mean, he was really a nobody before he came on the show. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. You know, congratulations to that guy. Um, you know, he, he's the champ, and I, he's going to carry that belt well, and he's going to be a major part of that company for years to come. Yeah, what a week he's having. I mean, you, you, you capture the title, and then you get the long-term deal. I think that uh, his culinary ambitions are just going to have to be put on hold for a little bit longer. Uh, but let's talk a little bit about what happened to him in the ring tonight at Impact. Uh, he's in the main event. Uh, Bobby Roode wanted a rematch, and uh, he got it tonight courtesy of Hulk Hogan last week. Uh, match is going well. Uh, Roode and Aries just in, in a heck of a heck of a battle. But it ends in DQ 
when aces and eights come in out of nowhere, they just start jumping Aries. Uh, of course, Aries retains the title by DQ. Uh, but these these aces and eights guys, if they are invaders from an outside company, I'm not sure why they're why they're attacking Austin at this point. I really don't know. He's a champ. You go after the top dog. Yeah, I but think. they already got Sting. They already got Hogan. They got Kurt Angle earlier in the show. I mean, come on now. Really? So they're, they're was going, he a necessity? Well, they're going after... I'm sorry, go ahead. What were you saying? Was he really a necessity? That's all I'm asking. Well, I'm just saying you're going after the immortal Hulk Hogan. You're going after the icon Sting. You're going after the Olympic gold medalist Kurt Angle. Who's next but the world champion? They're just taking out the top dogs. Well, you know... Uh, Maybe I'm just a fan at this point, and I'm a fan of his because he is he is part of the show, and I wish him nothing but the best. And that just oh, breaks that absolutely. just breaks my healthy heart. Uh, all right. Also on the show tonight, uh, lots of Bound for uh, Glory series matches. Uh, we'll just recap these real quick. Samoa Joe over the uh, the Pope. Uh, we also had uh, Robbie E stealing one from Jeff Hardy by countout. Uh, and another Bound for Siri, uh, Bound for Glory series match. Our buddy Ken Anderson, who's coming up in just a couple of segments, uh, he defeated AJ Styles. Now, let's push the pause button there and talk a little bit about AJ Styles. Uh, this whole baby daddy drama continued. Claire came out uh, with supposedly revealing photos of AJ from uh, when he uh, impregnated her uh, during a, a wild booze-filled night, which he has no recollection of. But uh, she apparently had the photos to prove it. And so now I'm starting to wonder, you know, if Claire isn't in cahoots with Kazarian and Christopher Daniels all along and this whole thing is a setup. What do you think? That very well could be true, and this storyline's actually been going on for quite a while, you know, because Kazarian and Christopher Daniels had something on him, and then what was it? When were they going to release it? And then it was finally he was having an affair uh, with Dixie. That wasn't true. Now it's you know he's he's the baby daddy. And throughout all of this, I've just had one burning question, and I've been watching Impact for quite a while now. Who is Claire? <laughs> I don't know who she is. That, she just all of a sudden appeared out of nowhere and was involved in all this. I don't know who she is. That is the million dollar question. Nobody really knows uh, who she is. Um, but they're, evidently, she is somebody that uh, AJ Styles got uh, pretty fond with one night. You know, who knows? Good for him. Okay. All right. Uh, I, I, th I thought maybe it was a common thing that everyone knew that I just somehow missed. No, okay. No, no, no. no, no. Uh, I mean, I'm it's going to be interesting to see how it plays out. I just, I don't know. I, I would like to know who she is. That's all. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, but we'll find out in the coming weeks. This this angle obviously heating up. Uh, I'm anxious uh, personally to see how it all plays out. Uh, but again, sneaking suspicion says that uh, she's in cahoots with uh, Kazarian and Daniels. Speaking of uh, the former fallen angel, Christopher Daniels, uh, he too was in a bound for series, uh, bound for glory series match. Man, I just can't say that tonight against uh, Rob Van Dam. Uh, and then uh, Bully Ray versus Brutus Magnus. Bully Ray, your winner there. Uh, so that is Impact in a nutshell. Just a big, 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 huge, humongous week uh, for TNA Wrestling. Uh, they're getting the, the long-term deal with Austin Aries. They're bringing in Chavo Guerrero. Oh, and by the way, they're coming to our area September 1st. They're going to be up at uh, Bowie Bay Sox Stadium uh, with a base brawl event. Uh, VIP uh, meet and greet tickets still available on impactwrestling.com. Get your chance to get up close and personal with Jeff Hardy did you get a chance to meet Jeff when you were down in Orlando I didn't I didn't um you know before I went down there there was a few guys that I really wanted to meet you know Hogan was obviously one of them but Jeff was another one but I never got the chance to meet him I just kind of want to see that the face paint and when he closes his eyes and it still looks like his eyes are open I've seen it on TV I just want to see it in person you know and then I just wanted to see what he was like and all that but yeah. uh uh, yeah, no, I didn't get a chance to meet him, but I think I've heard he's a cool dude. So yeah, man, uh, maybe uh, we'll get it. We'll get a chance to do that on September first if uh, your schedule permits. Personally, uh, I will all. I've committed to being there, and there is nothing that can keep me away, uh, short of death. So, uh, TNA coming to DC on September first. Be there or be square. Now. On the other side, second down, this one ran long, but on the other side, we're going to be talking about training camp. You getting ready for training camp. I know that uh, in recent weeks you've been posting up some videos of you really just lifting ridiculous amounts of weight. So maybe uh, I thought it would be interesting if you and I could talk a little bit about the dynamics between the different lifts and, and why you may be lifting heavier on some than, than in others and close grips and 
you know, regular grips on bench presses, blah, 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 blah. You are the strongest man that I have ever met in my life, and that's why you have the largest arms on the D-line. And I thoroughly expect, Adam Carricker, I thoroughly expect that you're going to be able to hit me with that knowledge on the flip side. I look forward to it. I'll, see, you have, you lose all this weight, but you never step foot in the gym. So, you know, you can talk about walking and eating carrots and stuff, and I'll talk about the manly stuff. No, I, I, no disrespect. I will talk about <laughs> walking and eating carrots, and yes, you handle all the manly things. I am all that is man. I am you all are that all that is man. man. Yes, I, you I, defi- are. I define the word. I am a body friggin' Adonis. This is Fourth and Pain. He's Adam <laughs> Carricker. I'm Chuck Carroll. We'll be right back. <laughs> 